So you've probably heard of Zapier, the platform that allows you to connect your apps and create automations. But you've probably never heard of this, Zapier Agents. This new feature inside of Zapier is the future of workflow automation. So what is Zapier Agent? It allows you to build AI workflows that handle complex tasks with contextual understanding. I know that might sound complicated, but think of it as more of an employee as opposed to preset triggers and workflows inside of Zaps. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm using it every day to save hours every single week. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna show how I use it to actually generate content ideas for me on autopilot so I don't have to do it myself. All right, let's dive into it. Hold up, let me take a sip of coffee and let's get into this. Okay, so first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come inside of Zapier and I quickly want to talk about the difference between a normal Zap workflow and a Zapier agent. They're two completely different things. So you've probably heard of a Zap. If you come inside of here, let me show you a quick example. You can see this is a lead research assistant and essentially it follows this static workflow like progression. So essentially we have a trigger event, which is a Google calendar, a new event, and then it sends down um, a list of actions that it will complete. So it's very static. It doesn't it's not dynamic it can't act on its own but you know what's going to happen every single time right like when a new calendar is added it will then you know format the text format the text send it to ChatGPT, and then create a new contact you know that's what's going to happen that's how a zap works which is great you know zapier is a great platform for that but what i want to talk about is i want to talk about zapier agents so if we come inside of zapier agents let's go ahead and look at lead research assistant here which is a agent that i actually set up before let's come into settings so i could show you you what this looks like and you will see you have the ability to name it add a description add a data source which is you know any of these data sources and you could add behaviors so this is essentially workflows that the agent is going to automate so if i come here let's go inside of this behavior first of all you're going to see the trigger is scheduled by zapier every day or you could change this to on demand so it's only triggered when you actually chat with the chatbot but next up you're going to see the instructions so first of all we're able to speak with this and tell it what we want it to do as opposed to having to do the workflows inside of zapier so retrieve all events on the calendar the next day you using find Google Calendar event. So this is essentially an action here. So what you could do, if you do forward slash, you could either find data using any of the data you use, whether that's Google Spreadsheets, Google Docs, any of that stuff, or you could have it take action, which is basically the same as inside of Zaps, but you know, you type out what you want. So for instance, if we want a ChatGPT step here, we could then click ChatGPT, and then basically kind of the same as if we're creating a Zap, you know, set this up, and then it will then use this action here inside of this this agentic workflow that the agent is actually performing. So let's continue on. For each meeting, extract the list of attendees. For each attendee, extract their name and domain name from their email address. Research both the name and their domain name. Consolidate the research into a single Google spreadsheet cell, grouping information by company only. Add the researched information to Google spreadsheet called lead research using this action again. And to set up the action, all you gotta do, click this. You need to make sure to set up your account and then click on the spreadsheet that you actually want to populate this with. So that is how it works. It's essentially you're speaking out what you want to build and it builds it, which is awesome. I love this way more than actually building with zaps. Next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to build a content research assistant. This will actually run on autopilot 24 seven and come up with content ideas for me. So I don't have to do this myself. It's like hiring an employee that works 24 seven on autopilot. So let's dive into that now. All right. Now that you know exactly what a zap your agent is, let's go ahead and dive in and build one. So come over to Zap your agents. Click on new agents. You can see there are some certain templates that you can use. However, I'm just going to create a custom agent from scratch and let's give this a name. Let's call this, I'm going to call this content research agent. And starting from scratch, we don't necessarily need to add any data sources right this second. We might come back to this. And now what we want to do is we actually want to create a behavior. So this is kind of the workflows that we actually want to automate. So let's create a behavior and you can see we are prompted with this. We need to actually set up the trigger. So let's actually, one thing I actually did not mention you could actually select a trigger event from another app so say you receive an email or something then this workflow would be triggered so that's pretty cool too so essentially you could build an email agent where whenever a new email comes in it automatically will filter if it's important for you and then if it is it'll like remind you or you could send a slack message to yourself or something that's a pretty cool use case but for this i'm going to use this to help me build content so here is my first set of instructions so every day at 8 p.m or when triggered on demand to research some new developments in the ai space and we need to come 
come up here and let's change this to scheduled. I'll show you exactly how to trigger it on demand later on in this video. So let's do, let's trigger this every hour, honestly. So every hour it will survey the latest news and AI, figure out anything that's interesting that might be cool to cover on this channel. That being said, subscribe to this channel. We cover all things AI for non-techies. Sorry for the plug, let's get back to it. So time offset, let's do, all right. So every hour at the top of the hour, it will then be triggered. Okay, so craft a list of potential good videos based on the trending news for me to cover on my YouTube channel. And then let's give it a little bit of context of what my YouTube channel is about so it can understand who I am and who my target audience is. Here we go, I cover all things all things AI for non-techies. So this could include new platforms that people are talking about, a new feature from a tech company, etc. And then here are some examples just in order to give our agent a little bit more context. Next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the action. So then what I want it to do is I want it to take that information and all I'm do is I'm gonna click forward slash, go to take an action, and I'm gonna have this actually send me a Slack message. So send channel message. All we need to do, we need to come in here to connect our Slack account and channel. You could either let the agent select this and auto populate whatever channel it thinks would be best fit, but let me just set a specific value so I know exactly what channel it's gonna be posted in every time. So I actually don't have a channel set up yet, but let's just call this, you know, let's add a random channel here. And now let's save that. And we could click an auto suggest suggestions here. So let's see what actually suggests us. AI by Zapier, analyze and return data. Okay, let's start with this. I might add to this, but this should work now. What we could do, let's actually go ahead and test this behavior. So now it will then trigger this and it should go ahead and do some research. The cool thing about this is it has the ability to actually scrape the internet. You can see it's gonna perform a Google search. It's now searching Google. Guys, this is so cool. We're literally building an AI employee using Zapier agents. Okay, so it went ahead, researched this, Google Gemini 2.0 release. That is a good topic to cover. That's a great video idea. So obviously I mean, knows what it's doing. OpenAI's publisher initiative. Interesting, NVIDIA's big web services, big idea. AI or morality study funded by OpenAI. Um, AI innovations in 2024, recap all of the AI innovations. Okay, so this is actually a pretty cool list and I could get much more specific with my prompting in this. But for now, this looks great and it looks good. And for now, what I gotta do, I need to approve this for the first time before I would actually send that Slack message. Let's now go back to Slack. All right, so here we go. It actually posted this to Slack. Google Gemini, AI, Open, OpenAI's publisher initiative. That is great. So it is working properly. That's awesome. Okay, so I actually wanted to take it one step further. Now take a look at this. So added, use ChatGPT and then come up with some potential title ideas for each of the video ideas you give me. Format it like this. So I wanted to give me the title idea and then the content idea, and then it will take that list and then again, send that in a Slack channel. So I wanted to format this a little bit different. Now let's test this out and this will be really cool. Just, I want to show you this because this is just how dynamic Zapier agents is. You could just type out what you want it to do and it will actually teach itself how to actually do it. Okay, cool. So it came up with the, it researched the content ideas and now you can see it's on the step of actually coming up with the title ideas okay so it looks good it looks like i have to approve that in order for this to um, be sent to ChatGPT. okay so it looks like it's actually doing one of these at a time and it's coming up with five different title ideas for each of these videos so i don't necessarily need to do that let's give it a tiny bit more prompting okay so i basically said i want you to do it for every one of the video ideas in one prompt in just one prompt instead of it actually having to you know send multiple prompts to ChatGPT for every Every single one of the content ideas. So save that. I'm going to retest this behavior and hopefully this is working correctly. Okay. So it looked like it actually did this correctly. So now we have the title idea for this and then the content idea. And we have this for all five or I guess all six of our content ideas. Now it is then sending this list to Slack. Here we go. Here's our message sent to Slack. We have our title or we have the news. We have the title idea and we have the content idea. That is great. We built this all in under about 10 minutes. We have an agent that now literally every hour researches content ideas for us and then sends it to our Slack channel. We could get more dynamic with this. I could add this to Notion. I could make this send an email to me with all of these content ideas. This is just a tiny little glimpse into Zapier agents. And I'm so excited to cover this more on this channel. I think this is gonna be a really cool use case for a lot of people. So if you want more content like this, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know that you liked it. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video.